Hello everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Sing for me, baby. Baby. <laughs> baby. Okay, so I'm currently just doing my makeup and I wanted to recommend some um, eyeshadow palettes, some of my favorites. We have Revolution Macon, Macon, okay. Take two. <laughs> yeah, for real. Revolution Makeup Revolution London, which I love and I wanna show you guys the inside. Um, I just got these from Target, honestly. Like, look how pretty. Today I am using Fruit Punch. I am mid makeup, so I'm not even like done yet, so don't mind me. And then also I love the Profusion Cosmetics. I have like six of these palettes, which is kind of a lot for me. So I don't want there to be a rumor every video because yeah, I just don't, I don't like rumors about me, but obviously there's gonna be rumors about me as I am a public figure as they call it. But people think that, I think that Casey Anthony's innocent. I do not think that. When it first started happening, which I was still a freaking teenager. You guys have to realize I was like 19 when this whole Casey Anthony thing happened. And I did make a Facebook post saying how like, we don't know what happened pretty much. But as I am a almost 32 year old woman, I do not think that Casey Anthony's innocent, but I don't think that her father's innocent, which I've always thought that. And people thought I was a nut job for thinking that. But, ew, what Casey Anthony's father said about Kaylee at her funeral, like, it's just, ugh, cringe alert. But yeah, I do not think Casey Anthony's innocent. I don't think, I'm not like an apologist for her. Like, come on now, you guys. But uh, these are the earrings I'm wearing today. Look how pretty. I think they're pretty. I have this whole thing of backs. I got it off of Shein like a year ago. Actually, no, two years ago. Cause I prefer um, these like plastic backs versus like, actually, I don't even think they're plastic. They're like plastic rubber. Does that make sense? If you wear earrings then you know what I'm talking about. I don't like the metal kinds. It's just not comfy. Okay, so it is time for day three of the Play-Doh advent calendar and see what I can come up with. I do realize that there is a map to this, but I wanna get creative and not look at it. So we have some black Play-Doh. The map shows you what to do with it. So this is obviously for the hat of the snowman, but the snowman is now dead because I, <laughs> I put him back in his little container. All right, I decided to redo the snowman and I'm not gonna lie, I thoroughly enjoy doing this. I understand that I'm 32, but you guys, it's fun. Stop hating on me. You guys need to get yourself some Play-Doh because this was super therapeutic. Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a cork pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. <laughs> and now we have the kitty cat advent calendar day three that a subscriber got me, which I'm still so freaking grateful for, and so are my cats, for sure. Today, is a, is this a shark or a fish? Shark, do 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 baby shark. Roses. I have a toy for you. Oh, you guys see? We put up the tree in the office. I have a toy, sir. Oh. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, she's staring it down, look at that. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do? <gasps> Go get it. I threw it, she's getting it. <laughs> she loves it, you guys. All right, it is time for me to open my gift. This is the grown-up advent calendar. <laughs> does it say December 3rd on there? It does, but I don't remember it being this big. Uh, baby, what? 
Okay, here it is. Today is actually December 2nd. I would show you my phone, but the wallpaper is of the two of us to prove the date to ya. Alrighty. It's in a brown box. Is everyone guessing what it is? <laughs> Ooh! I see the words Burt's Bees. So is this right? I'm excited. You totally opened it up the wrong way. No, I didn't. It doesn't slide out? Burt's Bees. What is this? Wait, I'm so excited. Wait, I'm so excited for whatever this is. I opened it. This is what it looks like on the inside. Oh my god, it's a whole Burt's Bees moment. <gasps> okay. We have some Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream with Cocoa Butter and Sesame Oil. Thank you so much, babe. This is awesome. Wait, I'm genuine. I genuinely need this right now. I'm so dry. Which looks like this. Then we have... Oh, she needs this. A coconut foot cream. I need... <laughs> My feet are so dry. And then we have a cute little Burt's Bees Rescue Ointment. What is that? I don't know. You don't know what this is? Let me see. I don't remember what it is. I don't know what that is. Same and way. then a Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. Hell to the yes. Look how cute. Oh my god. Oh wait, there's more. We have a hand salve. What? So I take that as for your hands. And then a lemon butter cuticle cream. This was the cutest little gift. Baby, thank you. Yeah, baby. Feline just wrote Vlogmas Day 3 on there. Cute. Wait, is it day three? It is. Oh my god. We just ordered Panera Bread. Okay, so I got the um, cheddar and broccoli soup, which is like one of my most faves. My faves from there. That's what she looks like. And then I also was feeling like a sandwich, like a soup and sandwich type of moment. So this is literally just turkey with like onion, um, lettuce, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's just a cute little lettuce, turkey, nothing like too extreme and um onion of course like you need onion on sandwiches mm -hmm. that's a happy dance what'd you get babe a salad and a sandwich what type the of Asian salad? sesame chicken mm -hmm. oh okay show them look how cute it comes in Look how cute it comes in. Try it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it smells good. Asian salads are like my favorite. Thank you though, baby. What type of sandwich did you get? Um, I don't remember, it's just the She doesn't remember? Oh my God, I'm deceased. Let's go look. Oh, it's a chicken Let's go look. Spicy chicken. Spicy chicken? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it comes in this little box. That's actually really cute. You want to try a bite? No, 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 no. No thanks, babies. Okay, Let me know how it tastes. Does that salad look bomb? It used to come in like, oh, this is the side oh, salad. The half, yeah. the half. Oh, okay. I was about to say they shrunk their sizes. Okay, okay. Y'all, I'm an actual walking allergy. And... I thought allergies were supposed to be bad in the spring, but <laughs> turns out I'm a sufferer of fall allergies. So I had to Google it because I was like, why are my allergies worse in the fall? And this is what popped up. I'll show you here on the screen. You can read it if you want. Sounds disgusting. 
I hate the word spores. A lot of people hate the word moist, which is, yes, a gross word, but smear and spore, ugh, those are the worst for me. Spore gives me goosebumps. Like the word spore, ugh, I can't do it. But yeah, that's why my allergies are so bad. I'm not sick. I know uh, we all thought I was for a minute there, but it's just, it was my allergies. I can say that I have not been sick since I've been with Feline. A lot of people keep saying, you're always sick. Like, keyboard warriors. No, I'm not. I, I always think I'm sick, but then I'm like, oh, wait, I'm allergic to my cats. Oh, wait, I have allergies. I haven't even been sick not one time since being with Feline, and I'm just using that as timeline reference because it's been over a year, and I'm like, damn, I haven't been sick in a hot minute. I have had cellulitis. Um, it was a few times the beginning of this year. Uh, because when I saw the lipedema specialist, actually when she was giving me my uh, lymphatic massage, she noticed I had like a little cut on my leg and she was like, oh my God, you know, it's really bad to have these because you can get cellulitis. And I was like, yeah, I did my like nervous giggle. And I was like, you right, you right. I've, uh, I've gotten it a few times this year. And she was like, yeah, that's the culprit. And she was like, you can be the cleanest person. And if you have lipedema, and you get normal like everyday bacteria that even you the people watching this has um you can get cellulitis really easily so i i did have that a few times at the beginning of the year but thankfully i'm good been good let's keep uh high high hopes for the living but um yeah like when people say you're sick all the time i'm like ma'am what are you talking about <laughs> like, i am never sick oh let's knock on wood is any of this wood? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I'm just having some allergy moments. Some allergy moments. I noticed it just got like a smidge worse when we moved the cat tree into the office, probably just from like all the cat dander and stuff. We try to sweep as often as we can. I like to use this little brush thing on the cat tree. Finlene likes to vacuum the cat tree, but this like brush thing is actually really cool. Like it gets all the cat hair off like really easily. Okay, focus, focus, focus. Oh my god, my hair is so frizzy. So, we were at Target. And I already see the cutest little Christmas trees. I'm obsessed with these, but they just don't go with my decor. Please tell me why someone would do this. So disrespectful. Ugh. Okay, that is adorable, but it does not match with what I'm going for, but that is so cute. Just, you know, YouTuber life. Look how cute this fit stuff is. Makes me want to lift 15 pounds. And that's so cute too. I already have resistant bands that I use, but like those are so cute. And I also really like the idea of having this because it like tells you at 7 a.m. you should be here, 9 a.m. you should be there. Look how cute. And then they have a fit journal. Some of them was already open, but it's just like you write down your meals, your calories, what exercise you did, how you're feeling. Oh, that's so cute and it comes with a pen. I love that. Bittersweet seeing the jump rope because I used to be jump rope queen. Not even kidding. Oh yeah. I was just recognized. So to the subscriber who saw me, hello, hello, shout out to you. You were so sweet. Like if you guys ever see me in public, I am nervous, I am awkward, but always come up to me because I'm also very kind and I love meeting you guys. There's a baby crying. We have reached what I was really looking for, the Christmas stuff. This green velvet is stunning. Wow, that's so pretty. I really wanted to get bulbs for the office tree, but Target, Mm, they don't have what I was looking for, so we might have to do the tree another night. Wow, I'm so disappointed, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, we are back home, and the last clip you saw from me, I was very devastated about 
not finding ornaments, but I think we figured it out. Your girl looks dry. I am. It happens in the winter. Okay, so we got these red ornaments. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of these. Tell me why this one looks orange. That is so weird. On camera, it looks straight up orange. And then also with the red ornaments, we found these. So these could look cute on there. So we're gonna do those. And then I had to get this fella. He was just so cute just sitting there. I almost bought more than one, but I was like, girl, you don't need more than one. Look how sweet. He's so cute. Wait, before I continue this haul, your girl needs a thumbnail. Wait, what type of thumbnail should I do? Who knows? Okay. I also got Twinkie these mini canes. They are the alternative, the healthy alternative to rawhide. So I'm excited to give her one of those. Celine got some Tic Tacs. I haven't had a Tic Tac in I don't know how long. I got this really cute ornament. Oh my God. I saw it and I said, I gotta have her. This is what she looks like up close. I did get another mini brands, but I did not get the toy one. I got the fashion one because your girl loves fashion. <laughs> I know you can't tell, but there's only so much you can work with when you're 500 pounds, okay? So I got a new purse. You can come for me, it's fine. Like, if you wanna judge what someone else does with their money and the things that they love, that's, that's, that's on you. But I got this really, really pretty purse. I love this green color, I have nothing like it and i just thought it was super cute so i got it and then obviously we needed a tree topper we didn't get a tree skirt because i could not find one that i liked but here's the tree topper i got so it does light up i'm hoping it looks good once it's up feline got some shirts so that's what that is i got this really cute white tree it does light up but it's oh you can't even tell on camera weird but i don't like it when it lights up so i don't really care about that part i just like it because i just think it's so cute and i think it'll look so cute next to this little baby i need help <laughs> i need massive help i know Lane finally found an f for her stocking and then a b for bambi don't come for us. We are just a cute couple okay <laughs> we're just a cute couple felina and bambi okay baby are you laughing no, not at all. yeah i heard it last but not least another christmas decoration it's like this mailbox moment it says north pole but then right here it says letters to santa she's so cute and then this goes up it's like this white glittery situation type deal you can't really tell and then it actually opens it's so cute so we have the red ones up now we're putting some of the white ones. Oh yeah, this is gonna look so freaking cute. Oh my god, I'm there for it. So here on our bookshelf we have an office. I'm putting the tree and the deer. Look how sweet. I love it. So Feline is on the step stool because you ain't gonna be seeing me on that. We're putting up the tree topper. A bulb just fell. I got her. Okay, just within like the last five minutes, my camera was like acting up. But the tree is complete. So Feline put her gifts for me in here. And this is how it looks. And that's the tree topper. Isn't that so cool? So Christmassy. Hi, baby girl. How you doing? So I've had people question my authenticity, authenticity of uh, me doing these, saying that I'm the one choosing the comments. I'm not. I am getting the link from my page. I'm posting it. I'm letting them load. And then I pick a winner. And that is literally it. So this is from Andrew P. You're probably tired because you don't like get up. Thank you, Andrew, for the comment.
So I'm not entirely sure what Andrew means because it's obvious now that I'm doing these daily videos for Vlogmas that I do in fact get up. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.